maiden as well. Obviously, can't really harass the tide out of lane. Imagine when he's got Kraken Shell. CM's going to be like, please let me do right yeah. quick damage, <laughs> please. I want to hit you, sir. And it means that they, they kind of need a really strong uh, carry laner here to lane up against the tide. Otherwise, they're going to really struggle. Um, to deal with him in these early stages because the Lesh really wants to I imagine that they, they don't, don't really want to commit a tri lane to this tight, do they? Yeah, they, yeah. They, they kind of want to do this dual lane with the Abaddon Lesh, I imagine, or put the Lesh mid or along with a plus one. You know, it, it could be anything still, but they really just need to make sure they pick a strong le uh, laner that does well with the CM or that can really just bully the tide out by. Uh, by himself. All right, mate, throw, throw me down some options. What, 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 what kind of carries lane well versus the tide? I was going to say Razor. Newbie, <laughs> newbie picked that well, one up. Uh, um, that would be hard. Ace likes his uh, Lone Druid, which gives yeah, them really yeah. good push potential as well, but I'm not sure how good that is uh, this game, especially against the Jakira when they have really good ways of uh, this counter push and all this wave clear that we've talked about. Um, to see, maybe like a Monkey King? Yeah, I think yeah. that's a possibility. I don't think, I'm not sure how much Ace plays that hero, but Mm, trying to think of the heroes. They've actually used they're using a lot of their reserve time here for this pick. They are, aren't but they? Looks well, like once again, I mean mm. this is this seems to be the uh the, the pick they think about the most. Number four. Gotta uh, gotta dive deep into their, their mind vaults to find uh, the right pick. Because, I mean this is I mean, this is when you when you gotta start coming up with some calls where you've got to start your draft. Um I can see what about Lifestealer? Is that a hero which does well versus the tide? Mm, it's not that great because he uh gets rid of your physical damage. I like this a lot, though. Um, Ooh, Shadow Fiend coming out for uh, for mid one there. Yeah, so, okay, then actually, it doesn't really matter which way round they pick their heroes now, they're between these last two, because obviously they don't have last pick on their team, so showing this uh, SF, I don't know, they probably going to be Yaps or Lesh then, again, yeah, I imagine. Yeah, yeah, I mean, more could, likely one to get banned, could, I guess. So. Could be an Ace Lesh, but I, I don't think that sounds like a thing. But again, they've had three weeks since DAC, so that might have been something they've practiced. Yeah, we'll yeah, absolutely. Um, and again, it would lane well versus the Tide. True, so very true. Not out of the question, I don't think. They, they have the Frostbite into the, uh, the Split Earth. You know, the, oh God, please be a Carry Lesh, this be all. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I, do like, I do like a good, good Carry Lesh, just run into the fight with all those lights turned on. Just mm. let's go, let's go. Gloves off, down to business. <laughs> um, and yeah, so... Obviously, secret. They need. They need their safe lane. We're we're kind of predicting a lone druid or something. Ooh. I like what, that here. What about an Ursa? Uh, TA. Please don't tempt me with that. The, the the golden chalice, the forbidden fruit of Ursa. Obviously, Ursa getting a. I think he got two extra base armor in the last patch. I think that was Big. the uh, buff on it, which is against the Tide Hunter with this uh, you know anchor smash. That's physical damage. That's actually pretty good. I don't yeah. mind it. And the other option might be a Slark. Um, that Ace has Ace has played before. Slark obviously lands decently against the Tide. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry, yeah. That was alrighty then. So he's played played one game of this in the last month. Uh, the Bristleback. Um, I don't know if they won. They did win actually. Sorry, that Bristle game. Um, really good with the Crystal Maiden though as well. Obviously with the mana issues that Bristleback has early yep. on. Yep. Uh, that's that's what we talked about. They needed a strong carry that could lane up against the tide that worked well with the Crystal Maiden aura. Um, there's not a lot of burst damage on Newbie if you look at their team. So when Bristle turns his back. How do they kill him? Yeah, and then e even if they do manage to, to, I don't know, get get some damage off, they've, they've gotten a baton there ready with the shield, so wow. they're going to pick up the leaner on the side of Newbie for their middle lane, so um, this could be quite a lot of pressure for the Shadow Fiend to deal with, but at the same time, Lena's not exactly super tanky either, so if she gets caught by a couple of raises, she'll go down as well, but that's kind of unlikely to happen due to Lena's attack range. Mm. My my worry with this is that both these heroes are so good in the laning stage, the Lena and the Razor, but they're very reliant on this Lena for late game damage, I feel like. They're probably going to go for this like uh, Daedalus build that we see sometimes, get yeah, the Hurricane yeah. Pike online later on. So suddenly she transitions from this mid-game magical powerhouse into like a, a really heavy right-click damage hero with the Fiery Soul at level 20. Uh, yeah, with the ton get of the right-clicks down. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be very tough. Yeah, um, I think if Newbie can get through the laning stage, they have this really good team fight though with the Naga, the Jakira, and the Tide Hunter. I think it's going to be difficult for Secret to fight into that. But I think, with I think this Bristleback's a bit of a wild card, and I'm really looking so forward well. to it to see what it can do. Well, let's find out what they can do. Game number two going on right here, right now. Let's get into it. It's gonna um, be exciting. So, Brist I mean, Bristleback uh, in his lane uh, versus uh, who was a carry for. Uh, it's, Brist it's Bristle carry though. Oh, is it Bristle in the safe lane? Bristle, and they have oh, the oh yeah, they've got the Abaddon in there. Yeah. Man, that's two tanky heroes. There's a, there's a, there's a lot of strength, mm. uh, a lot of uh, ability to survive on the side of uh, Secret. Same as last game, though. True, they had true. The uh, Spirit Breaker, the Doom, the DK. You know, this is 
pretty there smart. They're just looking to out-survive yeah. yeah. Okay, so here we go. You can't feed if you can't die. That's true. Yeah. That's my. Uh, that's why <laughs> I play. I play tree in my pubs. Oh look, yapsaw has got it pasted as well this time nice. instead of Farsa. Nice. Oh, they're, they're they're rotating it around. This is just so. There's such a positive vibe, and especially after yesterday with VP and uh, Pain. I mean. I don't know if it was bad mannered or if it was just kind of <laughs> a humour us Brits didn't get, but uh, it, it, there was a lot of uh, you know RPs and overgross use on the ground, <laughs> that sort of thing going along. So uh, fountain diving, but you know, nice, nice for a secret to bring down a new dawn. You know, <laughs> the sun comes up and and secret, there are a bunch of flowers ready to bask in our glow. Um, anyway, um, puppy gets a couple of deep wards down here right away at the start of the game with the smoke. Obviously, one in the mid lane, um, one in this bot rune area. Yes, but uh, newbie, you've placed a ward of their own in this mid lane. So I wonder if which one, if any, either of those oh, yeah. wards got spotted out. Oh, this is cute. They've all warded in the exact same place. Yeah, oh. that's, uh, that's interesting. Newbie and secret, kindred spirits. I think uh, puppy will probably would have would have seen that ward by newbie, that second one that got placed. Yeah, they do ping it They're out. Pinging it out. They want to go for it, but uh, it's. Uh... We're going to have to put on a lot of pressure onto these two okay. heroes already here. So they're actually putting the Abaddon in a 1v1 against the Tide, and then they're going in aggro lane with Ace. That's really interesting, so really doing a good job at... I'm, I'm not sure how... Oh, I really don't know how good this this is, though, against the Razor. Especially oh, a bit the... of action in the bottom rune does actually go the way of Karka, but she will die in response to this as a Naga gets taken out by Yapsaw. Once again, drawing first blood on this last rack. My word. Yapsaw just making sure... Rune, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> worth. <laughs> worth. Making sure he has a good start on this less. She, you know, this hero does really well with farm, especially on a support position. Yeah, absolutely. And when you don't have these massively greedy cores and like the Bristol and the Abaddon, it's going to be super good uh, for terms of Lesh pushing out waves and things and getting a lot of gold for himself. But mid lane, SCCC versus a mid one. I mean, yeah, that's, it, there's, there's that D ward. ward yeah. Um, who does that go? I think it's, it's pretty much the Lena's lane, right? Yeah, Lena that should be bullying this SF really hard in the lower levels, but when the SF gets down at level three, he can just last it with raises. He's going to be fine. Just go back to the jungle after pushing the lane out. Oh, uh, we have a static link and also a stun coming down onto the uh, Jakiro. So um, a bit of uh, split fighting going on here mm. on this bottom lane. Um, but this is going to be Moogie and, and Faith versus Ace, and uh, I think we'll see the supports moving around quite a lot as uh, Yamsar actually lands a free stun to Karka there, who's joined up in this lane. So. Try versus try. Hey, let's go. Yeah, there's a couple of really tanky supports on Newbie's side in the Jakir on the Naga, so it might be difficult for them to bring them down. Um, but yeah, is, I'm not sure. I'm not really understanding this aggro try by secret. I, I don't. Th I think it's really difficult to aggro try into a razor. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Especially yeah, like we said with these two tanky supports, it's going to be very hard. Mid one seems to be doing pretty well in this lane actually. Though he's got uh, eight souls already on this SF and one minute and a half into the game. Not bad. Not bad. Never, never doubt the mid one. Yeah. Um, but I'm sure as the damage from that Dragon Slayer starts going up, SCC C will start doing a little bit more um, more harass damage. It'll get a tougher and tougher for mid one. But then again, mid one gets the soul damage as well. So I guess it comes down to right clicks versus uh, versus magical. Bottom yes. lane, we've got another static link coming down onto this bristle. Um, this this does mess with the bristle a little bit. Obviously, he doesn't mind his uh, right clicks being drained because he's got that bristle back. But at the same time, you don't really want to give Razor a ton of damage, mm. especially when he's got supports he can hit on the Razor. The main thing I don't understand about this aggro try is that you don't really win this fa this one v one in the top lane between the Abaddon and the Tide Hunter either. You kind of just trade farm, and Tide Hunter's quite happy to do that, I think. And he's going to just push the lane out really quickly with the anchor smash. Just go back to the jungle farm there as well. He's going to be, you know, really happy with how things are going in this top lane. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, Fat, Fat is still going to get a decent amount from this lane though, right? Yeah, he's going to be okay, but at the same time, like, he's not winning the lane, and when you have to do this aggro try, you kind of want to make sure you win this 1v1 lane in the in the other side lane, so... Yeah, yeah. Really interesting with how they've laned this so far, and I think when the Razor gets to level 2 Link in the spot lane, I think Bristol's going to be in a lot, in a yeah. lot more trouble. Well, this, this bottom lane is like the action lane, isn't it? Like, top is pretty sleepy, you've got the two tanks, but down here, and actually we have a stun out onto the Jakiro, as if by magic, on Q. But Faith will chase them away. It's, it's very difficult for them to actually finish off a kill. Yeah, this is what I mean. They're so tanky. Like, they have this Frostbite into the Split Earth, and then the Bristle's like, I've got all my kind of Bristle damage, like Quill damage, which is a little bit, but <laughs> not for... Bristle damage. Bristle damage, yeah. <laughs> quill damage, that, which is... Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's not burst damage, is it? Which we usually see in uh, aggro tri lines by like a... Yeah, yeah. By well, like a Luna or something. Yeah, and a Frostbite thrown out. I mean... Oh, my uh -oh, word. This could be in trouble, actually. There's a net and the static link come out, but what a stun from Yapsil. But there are, I, this is the level 2 link, Ace has lost 63 damage. What, what does he do now? He kind of just has to wait back and... You look at the CS chart, Razor's 16 and 10. 
He's got 10 denies, and in this aggro try, that hurts so much. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, like, you can kind of see how it's going with these last hits. You know, the Tide and the Abaddon trading equally, um, Lena and and SF trading equally, but then you just got bottom lane, which is which is quite convincing for newbie right oh, now. Oh, the TP, though. Net, but, yeah, the TP will scan them away, and uh, they don't really want to go for this. And Puppy's actually in as well. If they can get the stun off with the Frostbite, they certainly can. It's a lot of damage. Kaka's going to fall for the second time this game. Yeah. The uh, the main the good thing about this aggro try is that it, it kind of forces the Naga and Shakira to stay bot at the start. So it means SF gets this raw one v one that he really likes. So when he can build up those souls, not really afraid of getting ganked. Saw so Kaka try to go for it there, but the rot rotations again from Yapsaw and Puppy like last game, completely on point. Okay, so um, let's take a step back. You know, we, we got these two teams coming against each other. Um, who's going to be looking for the earlier timings and who's going to be looking to draw out this game a little bit, or is it all just going to be a big fight in the middle game to see who comes out on top? I think newbie when they get their level sixes, that's their time to go. When they have the sleep and every, uh, the ravage, everything like that. I think they're really strong at that point in the game. They have a lot of magical damage. I think when they get the BKB on the SF and the Lesh, I think it's going to be a bit more of a problem. But the thing is, Secret have this wild card in the Abaddon where they have this defensive capability um, to deal with the net, like we talked about. They have to deal with the dual breath. Um, I just think this raise is going to be really controlling the tempo in the early stages of the game. Oh, another frostbite out and another split earth and Kaka, well, getting deja vu right now in this middle lane as he goes down again to secret. Yeah, like their lanes are going okay. I don't, I don't think they needed to force themselves away from this bot lane. They really want to kill mid one. That's the big one so that uh, he loses his souls. But at the same time, like... I don't know. I don't know how much you were going to achieve there, especially when uh, Yapsor and Puppy are just staying around this mid lane as well to defend mid one so much. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, well, I mean, Mugi, he's, he's going to be a big, big problem in this middle game. Of course, uh, Shield does not re um, get rid of that um, Static Link. Uh, you can Static Link during Song as well if you get it off beforehand. Yeah. Um, you can Static Link during Ravage, obviously, and at any point during Ravage you can, yeah. you can use that. So I feel like he's going to constantly be having a lot of damage. I think he's going to build around the fact that he's expecting to have damage um, amped all games. So we might we might see something a little bit different from him this game. Yeah, we could. And I think it's, yeah, like we said, it's just going to come to this point where basically Nubia is just going to five map early yeah. on. And I don't know what Secret do to that. They, they don't really have any... They have this SF that can push lanes out quickly, but I think Yapsaw needs to be there to defend on the Lesh. Mm. I think they're just going to try and... Nubia's just going to try and take all the towers, effectively. Well, what they need is Shadowfiend to get a really good start to this Ooh, game and then be able to... Ooh, yeah, I think Ace is okay here. Yapsaw might not be. Oh, they no, got he's, the okay. he's okay, yeah. Yapsil's done a really good job of landing these split earths as well, by the way. It's like yeah, he, he doesn't need a setup. Yeah. Set he's just he's just on point with that completely. He had the setup last game, but even this game, when he doesn't have the frostbite to set up, it doesn't matter. Who he, cares? Who yeah. cares? Yeah, he's his own setup. He sets <laughs> up for frostbite. Exactly. Easy. <laughs> All right, a little, a little value shrine from newbie here is uh, get that get that sweet sweet mana back up on the lena and get straight back to your lane and start throwing out those dragons. Yeah, those three clarities on the lena being brought out. That's, that's value. You see that as the enemy mid lane, you say, well. <laughs> Is there just any point even cancelling these? Because yeah, the, one after the other. Lina just wants to push up the wave really quickly and then just go back and farm the jungle. You see SF's doing the same at the moment. Yeah. This yeah. is really effective as well because it means the supports can rotate in and get some XP if they yep. need to. That's you see Puppy. Oh, I love what Secret are doing here as well. They're stacking the Ancient Camp ready for the Bristle uh, so that he can catch up in farm. He's had a hard lane. Doesn't matter. Just yep. go back to the jungle. Looks like he's actually going to go and hit I, it right now. I don't think he can do this at level 3. <laughs> I think he's going to prove you wrong. If he sits here, then he's uh, just going to get all of those bristles off. And, uh, well, we'll get back to him later. As a uh, faster in the top lane, it finds himself under quite a lot of pressure from KPI. But um, it, it, it's not really an issue, let's be honest. No. It, it, it's Abaddon versus Tired. No one's going to die in this lane. Yeah, they're happy. Uh, KP's going for the hood first. While Meanwhile, the uh, fast is going for the Helm of the Dom on the Abaddon. Helm of the Dom obviously did get a bit of a nerf. but Yeah, uh, it got slapped down a bit. I think it's now a bit more of a niche item, but we're still seeing it every game, so who knows? That's true. I think it's still okay. Well, he is actually clearing it. Now he's cleared those regen creeps, it's going to be a lot easier for him, though. Yeah, that's, yeah, uh, that's, that's the, the big, big one. one. Yeah. In fact, he's actually leaving it to come back and take the... Uh, I'm not too sure. The farm's not that pushed up in his lane, so I'm not sure why he's leaving those. Yeah, they are stacking the ancient camp again, though. So. Yeah, maybe he just wanted to leave so they could do that. It's not really valuable to, for him to just sit there for three minutes, though, and just do ancients. True, it, so. just, just the three big ancients, so. They do stack it again. There you go. <sighs> Bristleback finding his way back into this game one ancient camp at a time. Um, root out. Uh, no uh, follow-up, though. Yeah, there is a stunner link going on somewhere, but... It's just chasing Ooh, the Fars has rotated lane. here. Yeah, Fars getting involved. I think the main difference again is if you look at the supports net worth, it's the same as last game. The secret supports are so rich in comparison to uh, newbie supports. 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, with Yapsor getting a couple of kills now as well, and the rotations coming in from them, you know, there's been no kills on the side of Newbie. There's been no gold to get a part of for their support. So that's mm -hmm. the big difference, I think. In comes a TP to this middle lane as uh, Ace rallies up, yep. um, trying to defend their tier one tower whilst uh, Shadow Fiend is away doing other things down here the bottom lane. Here comes Yapsor with the wave to, to, the, to defend it. It's, you know, it's so easy just to throw up that lightning storm. Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, bottom lane is, is getting pushed in a little bit here, and I think Mookie might need a little bit of help if uh, they want this tower to stay up. Yeah, expect to see the Naga or the Jakira rotate, and yeah, they are both heading towards bot lane. So. Yeah, and with that curse of Avernus as well. Oh, here comes the Lina, though. Speed. Yeah, SCCC looking for it. If she times the ultimate correctly, she could just skip out the ultimate from Fata in return, but there goes an ulti uh, from the uh, Shadow Fiend, and now comes the Laguna yeah. Blade, and they will finish now off mid one. They have so much burst damage with the Lina that it's really difficult for SF to just stand and fight there. Just get the art off to try and help with the damage reduction, but it's, it's just not enough. Yeah, these nets are going to be problematic for him, for sure. So, top lane, Puppy. Look at Puppy just desperately trying to defend against KP in this top lane. Yeah. So please don't take my tower. I'm a, I'm a little maiden. <laughs> she needs to make a sacrifice to the watermelon gods, but yeah. unfortunately, uh, KPI just not bothered. Chase them down. I really don't like that KP's gone for a, a hood instead of a Helm of Dom here. I think I'd have much preferred the Helm of Dom here to really you know, pressure the lane in very hard with a big creep. Um, but we'll, we'll see. The, the the hood is good against the SF and, and the Lesh, though. And the CM as well. So. Yep, hood is good. Yeah, that was actually probably could have summed up the last meta pretty accurately as we did have a hood every single game. But with the with the nurse, we're not seeing it so much. But still, there's still a strong item on most heroes. Yeah. So we'll have to see. So he's actually going for the Aether Lens again on the Lesh. That's interesting. I'm surprised he's not going for the Yules first. You know, he does have the setup though from the Frostbite from Puppy. So yeah, that's true. That's true. Not too much to worry about. I, I just like the Yules against the uh, against the Razor as well. Obviously, goes, if he goes in for the Link, you can just use him up in the air, stop him draining that damage away. Hey, he's just he got the setup for your Shadow Fiend as well. That's um, true. Yeah, oh god, SF Yules. <laughs> not again. Some pubs all the time. Yeah, I think, uh, what, what do they change about yours to stop that being so popular? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> the synchronized oop as L Lina. <laughs> uh, Laguna Blades, Yapsor with to no effect. He, he did have a lot of zoning charges. Yeah. Zoning. Zoning Laguna Blades. Zoning Laguna yeah. Blades. That's, that's where we're at. <laughs> that's where the patch is at, right? That's our patch analysis. <laughs> uh, what is oh, Puppy doing? Oh, Puppy. There is a Lina in the trees, and uh, she is going to make short work of you, my friend. Yeah, that was uh, that was interesting. I don't think those value right clicks on the tower from Puppy were quite worth it there. Uh, yeah, but. I think the logic was that SCCC would be going to hit some jungle creeps. So Puppy was like, hey, I can hit a tower here. Who's going to be farming? But he was not farming. <laughs> S -C -C he was killing. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just going to kill you instead. Well, Ace making value in the jungle and Fata being chased down once again, finding uh, KP in the in lane. Maybe Puppy thinks he's playing a tangy hero like Spirit Breaker again. Maybe. That's Maybe that's issue. it. I'm sure yeah. that's correct. <laughs> uh, TP's into the middle lane, but... Um, this tide is absolutely massive. What's he got coming out on the courier now? He has got the hoods, but I, I didn't see what he was bringing out. Might be a four staff, maybe? Might be okay? Well, it's been stolen off him anyway by uh, by the Razor. Um, God damn Moogie. Um, so up at top, Moogie and Kaka hanging around, looking to get some sweet, sweet yeah. damage on that Razor, but they really want to pressure this top tier one in as well. Take all the map control away from Secret that they can. I feel like Secret needed to have done better in their lanes. I'm not, I'm not saying the game's over right now, but it's with the heroes they've got, you know, if you, if you choose to run an Abaddon and a Bristleback together uh, in the same draft, then you need to have good lanes, because these are strong laning heroes which, which want to have an effect at mid-game. You know, they're not going to be the late-game powerhouses. They're going to be the mid-game powerhouses who are going to want to run at you and get an advantage and just basically push down your base as soon as possible, to be honest. And uh, right now, well, they're just kind of acting as space creators for mid one, who's actually going to run into Karkar here, and SCCC oh no. is here as well. This could be bad. Light Strike Array comes down, throw down the Laguna, not doing that much, and oh now the ultimate word. pops up. Akaka going to pull out the song and just try and get out of this one, or is she? Yeah, yeah, Karkar's gone. That was so close. Mid one almost got the uh, raise off there to finish off the Naga, which would have been catastrophic, because yeah, I think yeah. the S triple C on the Lina would have fallen as well, but that mid one was so tanky on that SF there, they just couldn't bring him down. Yeah, I think that was some raindrops on him as well, and yeah. I'm not sure if he's got a hood or something, because that was just, the magic damage had nothing to him. I think he had 21 charges. Yes, 21 charges 21 now, guys. 21 charges? What are you on? Obviously, go going up from 17 to 20 now on the one charge is pretty crazy. Wow, new patch. Because that item wasn't strong enough already. <laughs> yeah. Well, it doesn't give you regen anymore, so... That's true. You know, it's, it's, it's not quite that strong as it used to be, but... 
I don't know. I still think the 20 charges is totally worth losing the regen. Yeah, definitely. You just want who that goes, burst heal, don't you? Yeah, who on earth says, oh, I'm, 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 I'm getting low on regen. Am I going to buy, buy a ring of health? No, I'm going to buy a wand. <laughs> it doesn't really happen. The thing is, that at this point in the game, you talked about uh, them being good powerhouses in the mid game, but does it matter? Because I don't think Newbie have the damage to be able to bring down the Bristleback, the Abaddon, and the SF at this point in the game. They're, they're so reliant on this song into the, the ice path to take fight, into the Ravage to take fights, I feel like. True, but I think that is enough to give Razor the space he needs. And also, you've got to remember, I have the Storm, you know, that's going to be doing, uh, ticking away at their armor as well and make them a little bit easier target for him to bring down with his right clicks. SCCC as well. Uh, with that fiery soul. Yeah, they really need Lena to have... I think Lena's not having a great game at the moment, though, and they really need the Lena to be doing much better than this, I feel like. Oh, Laguna Blade onto the middle lane, and Puppy gets taken down again. Uh, Fata throws a couple of sword swipes onto Faith to avenge his fallen comrade. I'm sure Puppy... This is tactical by Puppy. Whenever Laguna Blade's up, he's just running mid. <laughs> yeah. Like, just tanking the Laguna Blade. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If it's used on me, then it can't be used on my team. Exactly. Good guy, Puppy. What a guy. So smart. Well, uh, in comes mid one to the middle lane, trying to get a bit of damage off onto SCCC, yeah. but won't be successful. Meanwhile, Fata, uh, also taking a bit of harass, but it's just hits. It's just shots over the over the bow. Yeah, Secret really don't want to lose this tier one mid tower. It's so important for them to hold, because if they lose this mid tier one tower, they lose the top tier one tower, all of a sudden, Newbie have their whole top jungle to try and work in and uh, get some good ganks off with the Naga. Uh, Kalka's we'll positioning is interesting here, just below the stairs, don't think she had sight there. Now comes out a very nice ice path, but Kalka's the one in trouble as the Requiem goes off and will be taken down by Fata. Yeah, it doesn't have the song for 20 seconds to help him out at this time, unfortunately. I yeah, think... need to let those vocal cords warm up. Yeah, and this means that Secret is just going to push the other way now, so Nubi are going to lose their tier 1 tower by the looks of it. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, actually first tower to go down this game. 15 minutes oh, in and oh, no. beautiful stun onto the Razor and Mugi gets taken down for free. Yapsaw. You just can't stop this guy. I think this guy knows how to party. Yeah, when, does he have the taunt on Lesh? That's the question, because we haven't seen it yet. And yeah. then he is party. That's true, that's true. Yeah, we, we do need to see that. And um, this is the Helm of Dom on the abdomen that I'm talking about. They have this double siege creep in the mid lane now. Yeesh, My word. Uh, a lot of push potential, but uh, Newbie looking to wrap around from behind, seeing what they could do there. We're going to find Yapsaw in the trees and get stunned up. Ravage to turn it around. Can they keep SCCC alive? They can for now as he gets the. Uh, oh, now the song to finish up as well. So much in lockdown, they just can't find the kill onto this hero. And now the ice path going to rip through, but Fat is there to at least put the shield onto the mid one and keep him alive a little bit longer. But is he going to survive this? Answer is no. He doesn't take down Faith with him, at the very least, but. Man, that was just the, the the fact that they easily kept Lena alive there, just with the ravage into song as well, and then they were able to turn it around and get another kill. Yeah, maybe looking all right right now. Mid one, just gl grasping onto the edge of the cliff there. Jesus. If I'm going down, you're going down with me, Faith. <laughs> this is it. We're going down together. And obviously, Helmut Dom creep dies there. 200 gold now instead of 125, which is absolutely crazy. Oh, he did pick up the pipe on Tide actually, so he didn't give the anything like a force. He's gone full out pipe first, which is. No, oh, really interesting. I mean, it's very good versus the uh, versus the SF. SF. Lesh. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, Lesh as well. I guess he's also got a fair amount of uh, magic output. So um, we'll see how that one pans out for them. I mean, it was very effective last fight, at least. That's and uh, their reset is so strong as well. You know, just get a song up, get the tide in, who's actually top of the net worth right now. Mm -hmm. Pop that pipe, and all of a sudden we're good to go. Round two, absolutely. And I, he's, yeah, he absolutely going for the same build again. Has the Aetherlands going for the Yules as well afterwards? Like we talked about, why does he need the Yules? He's just hitting them all the split offs anyway. Like, yeah. what's what's the point? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's just a good point as any. Uh, just to save himself, so he can land another uh, split off a bit later on. I think. Yeah, that's true. So Farsa picks up another catapult. Okay. Cool. Uh, <laughs> Obviously, has an affinity for for catapults. Can't blame him. You know, they're pretty cute. I mean, what are you doing your own time's up to you, man. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave you to that. Oh, <laughs> uh, Bristle, Bristleback has the Vanguard, by the way. He's picked up the hood as well now, so he's super tanky. He has the Soul Ring as well, so so much HP regen for him to work with. Oh, two TPs into the middle lane, looking to defend this tier one tower. Very yeah. aggressive from Secret. Look how furiously they defend yeah. it. This is crazy. Like you are not they, taking this tower. They're not even gonna deny it. They're just, they're just, this is just a. This is, this is asserting dominance from Secret. This is, this isn't a tactical play. This is just purely about the the you know the psychology of the game yeah. you know puppy's just a master dude oh i love that uh mid one's built a, sh a shadow blade there so we can look to build a silver edge in the future to deal with that tide yep and before he gets the ravage off i really like that yeah yeah nagasaran also going for the glimmer cape as well which could be really Ooh, key here we go Those engagements but secret good deep ward from puppy there's going to help them see a lot having a little smoke who can they find in this jungle 
Vata's rotating in as well. Yeah, he's got a double damage as well. They find KP in the middle lane, but can they bring down the Look monster? Body blocks Look at that, Puppy. Puppy just doing the work here. He's thinking he's using the Ravage, and does cancel it in the end. And uh, KP goes down. 40 seconds, no time. This is going to be a tier uh, two already. Tier two. Yep, it's under threat, and Secret just go mid, you know? End mid, GG. <laughs> is that it? Oh, yeah. Are we calling it? Uh, that's, <laughs> oh, that's their strategy. That's all they've got. Like, Puppies have got a big piece of paper on, yeah. in front of them which says, go mid. My worry for Nubia is that they've got this Naga Chikira, but we've only really seen the combo once where they killed the SF. But Faith died for it, so kind of wasn't yeah, even that yeah. big of a deal, was it? Well, they do turn around here. Wow. Going on to Kaka. Kaka Car Car could be in trouble. Does have the song available. Will use it. A lot of damage coming out. And actually, oh, yeah, actually with the lightning. Lightning jumping through and finishing off Kaka. Car Car. Well, that is uh, quite unfortunate as Nubi didn't get the reset they wanted. Oh, good so ice sure they path. wanted to set it up. Look at that ice path. KP coming in fast with the Ravage to follow it up. So much lockdown keeping them still, but only able to finish off mid one. And actually, Secret, they still got their tanky boys up. They're ready to go. And Faith, very low on the front lines, will throw out that fire just to try and make some space, kill some groups, stop them pushing, and uh, also retreat up to their high ground. But it doesn't look like Secret are going to find another kill here. Mm. That's it, with lack of damage. Once that Shadow Fiend is down, they just don't have the damage anymore. And that's the whole kitchen sink from Nubi they're throwing at them, and they only lose the SF. Um, one interaction we haven't talked about this game, actually, is the Abaddon against the Tidehunter, where when you get Ravaged, you basically just pop the uh, Borrowed Time, and you come out of the Ravage straight away, and you shield somebody else, so that effectively you've stopped yourself from getting the stun from Ravage, and you stop somebody else from getting Ravaged as well, Yeah, which is, yeah. Which is a really good uh, way of dealing with it. I like Absolutely. this a lot. You saw he did it on the bristle that fight. It was uh, pretty yeah, big. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, the Ephotic Shield doesn't really look that good this game, does it? Because everybody just gets stunned up the moment the Ephotic Shield's used on them anyway. <laughs> so they've got they've got more than enough of the things to throw at them to keep people in place. Uh, this mid one tower, come on. <laughs> mid Let it tower. fall secret. The mid one tower, did you Mid one tower. It? Yeah, it's his tower. Okay, cool. I call towers by names now. Um, <laughs> So Ace, yeah, Ace, Ace really doesn't care about anything, I does mean, he? So you actually got to think tactically about why are they trying so hard to keep this mid one tower alive? It, yeah, it's, it, a, it's the TP point. It's a very important tower for them to keep alive. And with this tempo game they're playing right now, the ability to TP to that tower and get straight back into a fight is actually really important. And look at this Roshan, no, absolutely no vision for this one at all. As a secret, we'll probably get this for free. Yeah, this goo is Although, so good against the Roshan. Newbie making their way over. KP smells something's fishy going on. They don't have Ravage for the hit, but they do have the Ice bath, which is just as good apparently as like lock two down there. Uh, damage is out, but I feel like Nubia just posturing here. They're just saying, "Get away! We know you're in here." But knock, knocking on the door. They have this goo. They have the so they have the armor reduction. Uh, well, secret don't care. They're just going straight back in. Yeah, I think they can just force Moogie this. waiting. Puppy going to be spun out by Moogie here, but pop the BKB and actually oh going to kill word. Puppy in the front back lines there. Um, he pops okay. the BKB for the Crystal Maiden. Yeah, I'm wondering how much this is worth it, but Moogie getting into the pit realizes he doesn't really have enough damage to finish him off. And now Secret, they get back into the pit. We're playing pit Okie Koki right now. As uh, Newbie forced back to the high ground once again. Moogie separated from his team, but Secret, if they go on him, then they're going to face a really rough rebuttal. Ravage up in 10. They're just six, buying time, Newbie. Five. There and, we go. Uh, I mean, Secret, they're just, I think they're waiting for the Crystal Maiden to respawn, actually. Guess what? Yeah. She can TP to that middle tower, so... Uh, Easy. Yeah, yeah, very big. And this is so difficult. Yeah, this team. is such an important fight for both teams. Like, no one wants to commit. KP taking a lot of damage if they bring down this tide, but there is the song. It's going to catch everybody. Oh, three. KP, he can just sit exactly where he wants now. And there we go. Ravage coming out onto all five, and they're going to bring down mid one, but the return kill is oh, quite going to go down. Yes, they will be able to kill KP. Yeah, mid one's just getting straight back into this fight as he gets in here. And the rest of Newbie have been chased away, oh, in Kaka. fact. Kaka could be in trouble, but how does this fight go down this way? I think they just want to get out. And the make... body blocks oh, again! Oh, Puppy, the man. Wow, no one's allowed to escape the Puppy this game. And how does he do this? It's so sick as well. When you're so slow on Crystal Maiden, your body block's <laughs> like 10 times more effective. <laughs> That's very true. I've never thought about that. Well, Moogie goes oh, in. Faith with the Ice Path as well. Moody's getting work done here. Look at this damage he's getting. Meanwhile, SCCC will pick off the Crystal Maiden on the back lines. Moody just trying to finish off mid one here. Can't quite land the ice path. Now going up onto the high ground, but Moody's taking oh a lot of damage. Word. The triple race finishes him off. Faith having to get out of this one. This Roshan is over, and it is going to go the way of Secret, although SCCC still making a valiant defense. But what more can she do, really? It's going to go down here, and that's so huge that mid one brought back and didn't die there. Honestly, such a play there, but I feel like it was so greedy from Moogie. He should have just gone into the Roche Pit with all of that damage. It would have been able to finish Ooh, it off, but instead, 
They wanted the die back. Look, Ace just standing between yeah, Newbie like, and the Abaddon. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> like, okay. Get down, Mr. President. Uh, <laughs> Farthest the final boss. You have to go through me first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're Henjamin. All right. <laughs> so, Newbie, they're in a bad situation again. And again, secret, these Roche fights, I mean, these objectives, keeping their mid-tower alive, so that then, I think, I think actually the Shadow Fiend TP to the Shrine, but the Crystal Maiden TP to the mid-tower, I mean, mm. it just, it, it's... Players would seem weird. I think any other team would just deny that tower straight up, just like get yeah. it out. But no, secret. They play Dota different. They understand how important it is, and that's two BKB charges down by Mugi as well. But so down to eight seconds already, and he's only just purchased it. My God! And we saw how important the BK was last game for him on that troll. It's the same again this game. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, mid one might be in trouble oh. here. Yeah, CCC. Oh. Got a hunt. This is the light striker Ray. Unfortunate. Mid one just smelt something off there and was getting out real quick. <laughs> Sniffed it out. Yep. Oh, yeah. Fart still has this catapult just following him around. It's so good for vision and pushing. And yeah. I, I was surprised it didn't get nerfed more than it did this Helm of the Dawn. Is, a, is, is Siege health still a thing? You know, like there's different health categories for each area. There's building health, there's Siege health, and there's... I don't no, know. This, this, this is like stupidly. I don't think so. Oh, um, the ice path. Wrestle goes around the front to get off that Laguna Blade. Is it enough damage to bring down? Look at this, it's just <laughs> circling him, making a little cross around the Bristleback to take him down from all directions, and uh, they will be successful in doing so. Yeah, I think S Triple C is going to go for the Silver Edge against the Bristleback as well. He does have the Shadow Blade of his own. Yeah, that's really important for uh, disabling that passive. I actually think. Does mid one have the Shadow Blade on him? Yeah, he does, right, okay. I was thinking whether. I don't think we've actually seen that too much from him yet. Oh. Uh, Fasa just gonna say, get off me net. D nets himself very quickly. Yeah. Uh, the catapult just uh, being super in the way. With the ult, though. Here we go. Just on the sidelines, gonna slow him down, and there's a song. Oh. Just gonna wait for oh. that buff to run out. And uh, guess what? KP's waiting. He's got the path. Ravager. The, the route is there, but there's the ice path lined up perfectly. Mid one taking a lot of damage. Can he take down Kaka with him? No, he can't, but he's only the Aegis. And Kaka is very low indeed on that Mega Sand, so we'll have to get out. And now comes a Ravage straight away, and they bring down mid one, and they'll take down Kaka as well. Uh, Fata also going down uh, to Fanubi. Oh and now no, Yaxel gets picked off. Oh dear. Well, actually, he uses himself back off, but I think he's dead here all the same, because the amount of stuns that you can throw out here is just ridiculous, and they'll take down another. And this, is, I don't know, this is this Secret. team, yeah, this big team fight that we talked about. I love that he held the Ravage until after the Aegis got used as well. That was really big from KP. And these two teams, like, balls locking horns here. They just push back and then they, they push back again against each other. You know, it's very hard, but it does seem to be Secret just about in the lead. But after that fight, I'm not so sure. <laughs> they have the glyph of it, but yeah. <laughs> oh God, Guys, listen. the mid tower is gone. This is a secret, the whole of Team Secret are crying now that they lost their mid tier one. Rest yeah. in peace. Yeah. Proper well, burial, they please. Tried, they tried so hard. So yeah. it, was, it was like their sixth member. I, don't, I feel like uh, Secret is so reliant on this uh, mid one SF though to do damage. Like, we... we nope. uh, Puppy just... Yeah, like, this, this Bristle just isn't really doing anything in these fights. They're just ignoring the Bristle. And they, ki they just kill the SF instantly with every song into Ice Path. And then all of a sudden, Secret just lose so much of their physical damage. Yeah, yeah, I mean... In a way, it is always risky to leave that bristle back alive because he can always get off those quills on you, and after a while, that is going to hurt. But with this silver edge, that's just going to become even less of an issue. So yeah. they're just going to be able to like let him go, like let him keep on using those quill sprays, and then just silver edge him so his passives aren't going to do it anymore. Yeah, I don't know if you saw that, but the uh, Chikara D Ward then got 153 gold because of the patch change. Whoa, Jesus. 50 gold swing. Well, now we know why these supports are so rich. Exactly. Yeah, so um, <laughs> just uh, the, the Observer Wars now give money based on time as well as their original 100 gold bounty, right? So it's, yeah, it's an extra two gold per minute. So it's not really that much at all, but we, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Just, just elaborating. We don't, we don't expect everybody to have read the patch notes, you know? We're here for you guys, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we will hold us. you in our, our sweet arms. Dota support team, you know? <laughs> if, if, if you're ever in a pub game and don't know what to do, just, just give us a ring. We're, yeah. we're here. Just a phone call away. Dota hotline. Yeah. That, that needs to be a thing. <laughs> Definitely does, if, if you, yeah. You know, like, you can just Google things if you're not sure. There needs to be a hotline that you can call up if you've got a question about Dota. Yeah, yeah. yeah 0800 just, yeah. Dota 2. <laughs> Dude, this this definitely becoming a thing after this tournament. Shakira's almost it's 16, by the way, because of this XP talent. Yeah, yeah. bring um, things back on track. Good idea. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, Shakira is, is, is very leveled, and uh, that's going to mean a high level magpie quite shortly, which is actually really big with these uh, with these song setups. Yeah. J oh, Ooh, we get, we get. scales so well with uh, his levels though, and when he gets to level 20 and he gets that GPM, obviously towards that level 25, you get the ice bar. Could be in trouble here. Does throw out that song, and guess what? KP is always ready with those ravages. Don't think he'll use it for this one. As a puppy, 
Coming in and out of sleep here. Um, Barter's very quick, but yeah, I don't think he's quick enough. Yeah. There is the Glimmer Cape as well onto, on the Naga. Yeah, the yeah the Naga going back in. Dude don't care, gonna get lightninged up and then oh. it's coiled and just uh, dies, so there's that. Uh, <laughs> do you know what that was? Farter has the miscoiled damage talent, which is plus 60. Oh, so, uh, okay, so, so Karka ran the maths but didn't do them correctly. Exactly, because yep. of the talent. So. Taking every variable, guys. <laughs> when, you, when you pull out that calculator, make sure you're taking every variable. Well, KP's just... Oh, what a blink for a KP there. Yeah. Just before the Nova comes up. I don't know, this, yeah, <laughs> I don't see how Secret are ever supposed to take a fight at this point in the game. Um, which I think makes it very, very difficult for the them. counter initiation from Nubia is really, really big, but... Um, you know, with a couple of pickoffs, and I think maybe the next Roshan is going to be the, the kind of turning point of the game. If Secret can take it, they're in a really good position to win the game, but yeah. if they can't, then... My, my problem here is that if they don't kill the Naga, I don't know how they win the fight. So, because of this sleep, the problem is, even if they buy BKBs on Secret, you can just sleep and ensnare them, and they just bring, like, burst down whoever's BKB'd, yeah. because the rest of the team can't help them. Um, so they really need to find a way to kill this Naga, but they don't have a lot of burst damage and great initiation. It's kind of like a Yule's into a split earth, which Naga's gonna be like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. I, I can survive that, that's okay. Especially with the rest of my team defending me. Yeah, yeah. All right, so, um, Nubi on the, on the aggressive once again. Um, still 65 seconds to start Song Zob, so they probably will just play around that. Yeah. Um, not afraid to rotate aggressively, though. This is the difference, right? Like, uh, not that long ago in the game. They were scared to come out of their base, but look at these wards they yeah. put down. I mean, they have just, they are just going big brother all up on secret right now. And, and what do you think that, it shows, like, you see that big circle around a certain area on the map, which is going to be very important in the next few minutes, I feel like. Yes, the rune. Yeah, yeah, that regen rune, <laughs> the, the spawn top is very important. Uh, no, we, we were in fact talking about Roshan. We, yeah, oh, someone really? He didn't clock onto that. I, I meant the rune. There are Dota players of all different skill levels listening, you know, and... We're here to help. Oh, wait, 100 dotes. Anyway. <laughs> so this, uh, yeah, this Roche is going to be... vision as well. I mean, they've just got really very little. Yeah, there's a gem on the Naga as well. So they're doing a really good job of shutting Secret out of the map now. They know how strong they are. They need to hit their timing now on Newbie, I think, and just try and take fights. Yeah, here we go. This is what I mean. They're going for the Alrighty. smoke. They have this song available. This yep. is time. It's song time. Secret. Show time. Oh, Ace. Uh, finds Ace. Net, oh, not quite landing. I think Ace just came out of view there. Now four stacking forwards, they really need to get his net up. They will be successful in doing so. Fata is just farming by the creep but I think will TP out as he watches Ace just... S triple C has a silver edge. Yeah. With that silver edge coming in, Bristol's like, oh, I'm not a hero anymore. So. Yeah. The what, entire what, point what? of my hero is gone. Yeah. Oh well. What am I supposed to do? I'll just quill some things and try and feel good about myself. Let's hope it's all better tomorrow. It's okay. <laughs> bottom tower denied and it's actually so talking about tp locations and stuff it's actually fine to deny this bottom tower because you've got the shrine up so it doesn't really matter it's, it's, it's still a decent teleportation point so they haven't even used the ravager or anything and this is what i mean they get the they get the bristle kill and they're like okay well we have really good vision around the roche area Ooh, baden's got radiance has been farming yeah he's he's quite happy with the way his game's been going like this i don't know what else he would build this game that would really help them he's got the blade mail queued up which is interesting I mean, he could... Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what else he would build. Obviously, the Radiance damage is good in the sleep while they're casting the sleep as well. So, but again, he, he's just he's just being that tanky frontliner that is going to deal as much damage as he can with the Radiance. When yeah, I, I feel like something like an AC wouldn't be a bad pickup on him just to help out mm. Shadow Fiend a little bit, help out the rest of his team and try and get themselves a couple of wars going on. Oh, yeah. Yep, so. so could be in trouble. Using that Pulse Nova in the Yules just to try and get out as much damage as he can before he goes down. Um, but, unfortunately, will go down all the same to Kaka. So that's twice now that Newbie just pick off these uh, secret heroes that are just pushing the lanes out. Uh, secret doing a good job of just trying to avoid fights at this point though, because they know they can't fight them head on. KP straight into Roshan, and with that medallion, they are looking to go, go, go. Um, we'll need a little bit more damage from the Lina. Um, and the wow. Razor as well. Look at Naga's quick bar. I don't know if you saw it, she actually, she's looking towards building an Axe on the Naga, which is really interesting. Ooh, yeah, yeah, so we've been seeing that a little bit more commonly lately. Um, really, really big though, especially in these kinds of games. You know, Requiem's used, everybody's low on health. Just just sing your gentle mm. song and let everybody get their spirits back up and get that health regen coming through. And uh, all of a sudden, the fights are completely reset and then uh, Secret have used so much. It's like when I sing to you before bedtime, isn't it? Just like that, it's absolutely. Fine, yeah. <laughs> I, re I think it tends to be a thing on the more of the Chinese players. Uh, when they play Naga, they like to give the axe. I think the EU players are like, no, we want Meteor Hammer. Uh, the, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the Chinese players are a bit more conservative with the, yeah, bit more with the views. Yeah. We, we, we would like regen, and the EU players <laughs> like Meteors. Boom. 
Memes. We love memes and you hear you. That's fine. Sure do. Although, I don't know, <laughs> Chinese memes are pretty fresh. That's true. That's yeah, true. They're, they're, I think they have the superior meme game, to be fair. <laughs> so that's the Silver Edge on the uh, SF now to help deal with the uh, Tidehunter. I, again, I don't think the Tidehunter is the one they need to bring down. I think it's the Naga. Yeah, yeah, and the Naga is a real issue. If they can't jump on this Naga and take her out, especially when this get off is axe, I mean, you know, it's, 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 well, it's not actually that far away. It's 1,000 gold away for Kaka, so... Yeah, if they can't take out this Naga before the fight, then they basically can't really commit to anything, because she's just going to sing, sing and reset the whole business. Yeah. So Lena's got the Aegis here running around with the B fresh BKB, quite happy to just be by herself, pushing out these lanes now with the BKB. Yeah, and... Uh, you know, looking at the gold per minute there and seeing uh, the, the Shadow Fiend on top, um, but not on top of the net worth because of the deaths. Yeah. Jakira has 100, uh, the 100, is 150 or 120 on Jakira? I think it's 150 GPM. And Puppy has this 120 GPM talent on CM, so nobody is going to be poor anymore. Woohoo! Communism. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's how that works. Everybody's equal on farm. Oh, here we oh, go. Oh, Nubi gonna get their smoke pop by Yapsaw, who four staffs away and is able to avoid oh. the gank, but maybe mid one's not gonna be so lucky as they get yields up by popping the BKB and doesn't get stunned up by the ice path. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, you can. Uh, it's one of the most annoying things about playing Shakira. When you yield into an ice path and they can still get their BKB off, it is infuriating. Yeah, that does seem, because uh, surely when you come down from the yield, you're frozen in mid. No, I guess that's like Ma one frame tick. Maybe you don't get frozen. Like in real life, you don't get frozen straight away, do you? True, it, it true. slowly goes into you so yeah within three frames or whatever because dota is so so much based around real life <laughs> yes as we see uh fata absorbing all damage which turns into health for him uh now he gets frozen <laughs> up himself light track away gonna come through but this is a kill but again secret just dodging fights all the time you'd be doing a good job of picking get picking them off but look at bot lane Mid one's like, oh, I'm just going to push bot lane in now instead, and yeah. you're going to have to come and deal with this. Yeah, Nubi have really reached a peak right now, and the Secret just want nothing to do with them. Yeah, they're doing a good job just pushing lanes out. Obviously, Blitz has been making videos about this recently. Um, yeah. I think it's about a week ago now, about the importance of shoving out lanes. Sure. And this I'm is... sure the players have probably picked that one up themselves, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but in terms of, it showed, this is a, a good example of what Blitz was talking about this game, I think. Right, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh. Yeah, look at this wave flare, though. It's, uh, it's it's fairly potent and uh, it's oh mid one. Really, yeah. Do they actually see him though? Do they have the sight? Oh, there's a, there's a dire sentry there. Yeah, Lena's gonna walk into it with the stun to follow up. But there's the song BKB used. Oh my god, the three man ice bar. Very quickly, but look at that ice bar with. Oh my god, all the damage coming out here is SCCC with that BKB just going crazy and taking out all three heroes. Oh my lord, that was a lot of damage. What and, uh, a combo. <laughs> what a combo. And very, very quick there. I thought the BKB was a mistake, but actually they're just able to quickly get that ice path down, quickly cancel the song, and very, very nicely done from Faith there just to immediately throw it down onto three heroes. No hesitation because time was of the essence when that BKB is ticking it seconds away. And now Newbie will claim their victory, which is going to be a tier three tower. Is it going to be any more? Well, Fast 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 just getting yeah. straight into their faces with this... Uh, Blade mail, but Moogie's seeing all this damage, and I mean, that'll be the ulti forced out. Yeah, KP they set up the ravage. ravage. Like, yeah, he's like cooking it up. Newbie just, just yeah. saying, I've got this, guys. Newbie are quite happy to just back off here. I think there's no need to take a fight when they're respawning. I love how the die just. They're like, oh, group up for the photo, family photo. And Jakira's like, no, eyes path. Yeah. Uh, thanks for grouping up, guys. That's yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, very unfortunate. And, uh,. But one thing I also like is, you know, we've we've heard of the puppy black hole, where mm. he picks Enigma, doesn't he? He's black hole game because the threat of the black hole is the biggest thing to worry about. Mm. But in that fight, we had the we had the KP um, ravage. Yeah. He, he just he was just holding on to it. He was even cook, cooking it up, you know, animation cancelling, and uh, trying to bait out a secret a little bit there. I'm very disappointed he's animation baiting the ravage, but then not taunting at the same time as well. That's very That's disappointing. True. That's, true. That's yeah. a zero yeah. out of ten yeah. from me. We're, we're, we're too polite, apparently. <laughs> uh, Chinese EU too polite. You gotta go over to uh, to the pain gaming and <laughs> VP for that sort of thing. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, if you look at this net worth chart now, Ace just hasn't really been able to achieve anything, and I, I don't know what this Bristol pick was supposed to do because the laning stage is hard for it against yeah. the Razor. Gets to the mid game and he's like, well, I still can't do anything because I'm against this really good mid game fighting lineup. Gets to the late game and I'm like, well, I'm playing Bristol back now and I'm in the late game, so what am I supposed to do anymore? So, yeah, and uh, with this silver edge, he can't even sit on the front lines. No. So it, it kind of just makes them very, very awkward. I also like the Lena pick just for that. I feel like they did actually, that was part of their choice to pick Lena. Mm. Just to get that natural uh, Silver Edge builder on the team, and then she is going for. She's got the Crystal from the Lena. Pick up on the tide as well. Yeah, Lena has the Crystal as well for the extra physical damage. Probably going to go for that Daedalus. Might be a Bloodthorn. I don't think that's too bad actually against the uh, 
against the Abaddon. If you get the break off and the silence, he can't use his ult. Oh, yeah, Ace is true. in trouble. He is certainly that. Um, now getting his damage taken as Moogie just so fast, able to stand in front of him and oh not care about the gosh. bristle back of the TPM from Puppy into the song. Ravage available. And uh, there we go. We're going to use it. Take down Puppy. Take down Ace. Fata, he's going to pop the ulti mid. We're coming in from behind, but there's a cheese from Moogie. And uh, now the stun out, just keeping Fata still whilst they deal with other problems. Now oh they'll turn it back God. around and take down Fata. Not able to find anybody else, it looks like, but Secret are falling apart of the seams here. Can't recreate the success of last game. Yeah, I, obviously we talked about them. <laughs> okay, never mind, Yapsaw wants to interrupt me here. He's like, I'm just going to suicide for this creep wave that some of them still live. It's fine. Yeah, that's a bit disappointing. I mean, it's, it's worth it if you can kill the creep wave because you just stop the push. Yeah. But um, unfortunately, he didn't manage that. But they, I don't think they'll go mid anyway, just because there's only one barracks left. It's, it's yeah. not really worth pushing. Faith leads the charge here, though, as well. Sitting on 500 health. He's, he's, come on, guys. Let's go. Please push. End. It's like me and my pubs playing Jakiro. Please, yeah. guys, let's please just end the game. Yeah, let's let's go. Come on. <laughs> Look at them. They, they, they're actually going for the tier three here. The, we're pushers now, apparently. Yep. Um, mid one just forces out uh, Jakiro, who nearly falls. S triple C has to go and deal with the bot wave, though, as well. So it's going to be a little yeah. while before she's uh, S triple C's back up here again. I'd like to know what they're saying to one another here. If anybody's watching on uh, on epiclive.gg, let me know if they're <laughs> the new players are shouting at each other. So Ty just runs in here, nice and now with the damage, they're actually able to take out Puppy, and KP looks like he's going to actually survive. Moogie, no fear at all on him as he runs straight into the base, and this is going to be a buyback on the Crystal Maiden. Oh my god, Puppy. Uh, puppy, oh, oh Bates. <laughs> Baits them all out. Sure, baited. Yeah. With the previous TP into the song, that was all tactical, setting up for that moment, then where then he can bait out more spells because they thought he was actually going to do it, the Madman. Yeah, this. Uh, we talked about whether Newbie might go for the Naga this game. They're, they're playing it so well. They and are. I'd, be, I'd be surprised if uh, Secret let them get it again next game. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Um, okay, Roshan. He might spawn in a minute. He might spawn in four minutes. We shall see. Jakira's actually going for the Ags as well. Why does Jakira have no boots? Uh, because they're in his stash, obviously. Yeah, but <laughs> he was dropping them before. I have a really bad feeling somebody else might have picked them up. Uh-oh. Uh. Okay. Okay, well, well, poor Faith. He's actually got Faze boots instead now at this point. All right, okay. so he said, well, screw you. You, you destroy my boots. I'm going uh, to get better boots. Time for memes. Fancy, That's cool boots. <laughs> I mean, he's really good at giving him movement speed around the fights, though, too. I don't yeah, mind it too yeah. much. And he can become the right-click damage carry now against the turret. I mean, just, just, just with the song getting into position for the ice path is yeah. super useful. Yeah, so it's, it's I'm really all for good. stacking movement speed. I don't know. Ace is having... I don't know how many times I can say it. Ace <laughs> is having such a rough game. And is he? It's not really a place for this bristleback. With and the Vessel, the Axe, and the Glimmer Cape on the Naga as well. How do you bring it up? Yeah, yeah. I mean, full credit to mid one. He's managed to stay toe-to-toe -to -toe with, the, with the top farmers in this game. Being on the losing side, that's always impressive. But mm. at the same time... What's he actually going to do with this farm? You know, it, it's very, very difficult for this uh, Shadow Fiend to really pull off anything in this game with this song and with this Ravage. Yeah. I wonder um, if S-Triple-C has gone for the Bloodthorn or the Daedalus. Minimum Roche timer, I think that was, as they run inside this Roche Shan. And, uh, yeah, secret, secret, they have no idea. Yeah, I mean, even if they did. Or they must just not decide to go for yeah. it. And I think that's... Uh, is that KP with a uh, Refresher Shard? I believe so. Yes, that, it that certainly is. Rush, yeah. yep. So, uh, two Ravages now, so... You know, Song and Ravage are very difficult to deal with. Song and two Ravages is even more difficult to deal with. That's how you counter the Abaddon counter to the Tide. You, uh, so you know where he borrowed times himself and then shields somebody else, you're like, ha ha, fool! Oh, and you yeah, Ravage see. them again. Ah, see, okay. right? <laughs> That's the counter. Gotcha. I don't know, this... Uh, oh, Puppy. Yeah, Puppy's just trying to push the lanes in. And Kaka's like, oh, I see you. Poor maiden. Gonna try and TP oh. this one. Is he gonna get oh, it? No. My word, that no, was close. Was very, very close, but uh, unfortunately. Actually gonna throw out an ulti as well. <laughs> yeah, why not? Might as well. No, freezing field. field. One hits him with a crit. I, what was the I freezing did field? He... Credible Laguna, I didn't see. What was the freezing field patch change? Yes. Oh, mid one. Oh. Uh, just finding Jakira here. Jakira did not get a room which saves his life, so he's just gonna go down. Yeah, that's big though. Nine hundred seconds, no Jakira, so. That's really going to hurt them because they don't want to push without Shakira for, yeah. the, for the uh, Song Ice Path combo, and that buys them time. Getting that pesky dragon out of the way, always mm -hmm. important. Okay, well, All right. Faith's like, well, I bought my phase boots, I've had enough. Yeah. I mean, these buybacks on sports are so cheap at this point in the game now. Yep. Since that, uh, that patch oh, came out. Oh, this double ravage. Look at this. He just, just doesn't care. I mean, we saw how much damage mid one did to the, uh, uh, to the Jakira before, and, mm. like, 
KB doesn't care. I love this Faith buyback though, because they, he knows they have the Aegis, so they really want to force the fight now. They yeah. don't want to wait any longer. And they get the D ward onto that cliff. So now new uh, Secret don't see anything anymore. AC coming out from Mugi also. My word. This is go time for Newbie. I think if they win this fight, the game's going to be over. So Secret have to it's put... It's very difficult to see how Secret yeah. can survive this one. He needs to put up one hell of a defense. Well, let's see what happens. Mugi running in. He has got uh, that BKB available uh, should he want to use it. Static Link has already been used, though. He wants to combo the two together, but now comes out the song. Oh, getting, getting all the five the heroes. Yeah, they're pinging out the right heroes here. And there comes down the uh, Ice Path, and they take down both of them so easily. Requiem comes out. It's just not doing enough, though. Mid one going down. Fata. Well, he's got the ulti, That's another the first Ravage. Ravage. That's yeah. the first, oh, first Ravage, sorry, yeah, first Ravage song. Um, and now Fata, well, he's popped the blade mail, but what really does it matter? SCCC going down a little bit low here, but the buybacks are coming out thick and fast. No buyback actually available in the Shadow Fiend, so uh, I feel like this game may be reaching the end for Secret. Oh, come on. What, have they got anything left in their tank? I, I mean, it's it's going to be too much difficult. still available inside of Nubi. Oh, it was Hello. a dangerous. Yeah, in comes Fata. You know, he's got the... We'll be able to take yeah. down the leader, but there's GG call from Puppy. Game number two goes to Nubi. We're going to game number three. Wow, what a performance so from uh, from Nubi in comparison to last game. Obviously, they must have regrouped and said, well, back to the, back to the Naga strat. Time for us to go back to what we know. Yeah, yeah. Easy. Get that Naga out and they win. So, Easy. you know, here's us smack talking them for t picking Naga before, but...